magnify your name. It belongs to you, Lord. We magnify your name. We worship you. We worship you. The Lord is mighty. Is mighty, the Lord, the Lord is mighty. mighty. Worship Him this morning. Hey, the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus is King. Hey, oh, we magnify Your name. We magnify Your. We worship You this morning, Lord. We magnify Your. Your name. We, we magnify, magnify your name. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship Him this morning, yet you would have Hallelujah, just lift up your voice and honor him this morning. Let's glorify him this morning, exalt him this morning. Magnify him this morning, magnify him this morning. Glorify him this morning, exalt him. Exalt him, exalt him, glorify him this morning. Honor him this morning, magnify him. Just worship the Lord for a few more minutes. Just worship Him. Just for a few more minutes. Just worship Him this morning. We worship your holy name. We glorify your name, Lord. Oh, God. This morning, before we end the worship, there's a song on my heart. I just want to sing it. And we all bow down. Kiss will surrender. The crowns and worship Jesus is the Lord, unfailing Lord is the Lamb of God. When we all bow down, kings will surrender their crowns. And worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we all bow down. Kings will surrender their crowns and worship Jesus. He is the Lord. Unfailing love. 
of God. In heaven and the earth. Thank you, Lord. All power belongs to you. In heaven and the earth. All power belongs to you. In heaven, in heaven and the earth. All power belongs to you. Power belongs to you. Yes, Lord. Power belongs to you. In heaven and the earth. As we welcome the man of God on stage this morning. All power belongs to you. Power belongs to you. Yes, Lord. Power belongs to you. Yeah. In heaven and the earth. All power belongs to you. Hallelujah. We worship. We give God the praise and the glory. Yes. We honor his holy name for his mercies and his kindness and his goodness unto us. It's a day that we can celebrate and say, God, we thank you for giving us the gift of life. Yes, Lord. We appreciate it so much. Thank you, Lord. We thank God for yet another Sunday. We do believe that God is in to do something wonderful in your life. We give him all the praise, and we give him all the glory. Say amen. Amen. You dey ready? I say, I will consider for fro. Give me a pass. Unyami wa haso be yonyama for fro. I will grab umu. You dey ni unyami ni na emano. We thank God that His faithfulness is ever the same, and He remains the same. You dey ready? I say, send you kuri di. It's in order. The baby answer. It's in order. Coming to you from Prince Sanctuary. Top Ministries International, and trusting God that from today, even as we share the word, the name of the Lord will be glorified in your life. Today, Asempei Efri Praise Sanctuary, Top Ministries International, Tesano, and Ebreo, we give God the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we pray? Our Father, we thank you for today. You are still God, the Lord of lords and the King of kings. We give you praise and we give you glory. We appreciate all that you're doing for us. We thank you that even today as we hear your word, your word will establish us. And we're going to give you the glory at the end of the day. I thank you, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I believe that wherever you are, the glory of God is there. The hand of God is there. The presence of God is there. And as much as we look into the word, the Lord will speak to us. I want every one of you to take your Bible like we do in church. I know you have in church today. Wherever in your homes you meet in, take your Bible and say this after me. Say, this is the word of God. This is the word of God. It is a living word. It is a living word. It is active. It is active. And full of power. And full of power. It is operative. It is operative. Energizing. Energizing. And it's effective. And it's effective. It is sharper. It is sharper. Than any two-edged sword. Any two-edged sword. Penetrating, penetrating as far as, as, far as the, the division of the soul and spirit, the division of the soul and spirit, and of both the joints and marrow, and of both the joints and marrow, the deepest part of my nature, the deepest part of my nature, it exposes, it exposes and, judges and judges my very thoughts, my very thoughts and, intentions and intentions of my heart. Of my heart, I am about to hear the word. I'm about to hear the word of God, I will accept it. I will accept it. I will believe it. I will believe it. Trusting God, trusting God that it will do, that it will do what it's supposed to do, supposed to do in, my life. in my life. I will be a doer, be a doer of, the living word. of the living word. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. God bless, you. God bless you. We thank God that wherever you're hearing the sound of our voice, I believe that just as we celebrate God on Sundays at the auditorium, wherever you are, I do believe the hand of God 
also penetrate and get to that place and make sure that the experience that you used to have, you definitely have it today. If you believe it, say amen. amen. Greetings from myself and all the pastors and the leadership of the church to every member of this church and even those who are listen, to, listening to us far and near. God bless you so much. We love you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. The coming month, we're taking this theme, activating the power of the blood of Jesus. So the whole of the month of April, we're going to deal with that. There is power in the blood. And God will through the blood help us through it all, no matter what is happening in our lives and in the world. Will you say with me, there is power in the blood? Say there is power in the blood. Hallelujah. Amen. So this morning we're speaking on the subject, activating the power of the blood of Jesus. We are in days that people are so fearful and panicking all over the world. Nobody knows where to run to. And we don't know what to do. But like I told you last week, there is hope. And all that you need to do is to hope in God in hopeless times. And this power that is in the blood is what we're going to run to even this month and the coming month. I want us to begin reading from Hebrews chapter 12. And from verse 24. Hebrews 12, 24. The Bible says, and you have come to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The mediator of the new covenant. And to the spirit. Blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. The Bible declares that there is one that we can come to even in time of crisis. Hallelujah. Amen. And to us believers, the Bible says, we have come to Jesus. We run to Jesus. He is an, he's our anchor. He is our refuge. He is our fortress. He is everything to us. And the Bible says, as for us, we have come to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. Glory to God. Amen. And to the blood of spring, sprinkling, that speaketh better things than that of Abel. Hear me, church? The Bible says there is life in the blood. And so Jesus shed his blood for us to give us life. Many people are running here and there. They don't know where to run to. But today, I want to encourage you that as for us, we have a place that we run into and that is to Jesus and to his blood. The Bible says the blood of Jesus speaketh better things than that of Abel. What is he trying to say? That means blood speaks. There is life 
in blood. When you get to the book of Genesis, the verse chapter 4, verse 10, the Bible says, He talks about the time that Abel was killed. And the Bible says Cain thought he had finished with him. But God called Cain and said, what have you done? He said, Lord, what have I done? He said, the blood of your brother is crying from the ground, which opened up his, his mouth to swallow the blood of your brother. That means blood speaks. I pray for you that today the blood of Jesus will speak for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hear me, somebody. Don't destroy lives. Maybe you are a murderer. People are killing people, others. And the blood are being shed all over the place. And don't think that if you kill somebody, that is the end. When you kill somebody, the blood of that individual will cry unto God. Because there is life in the blood. And the Bible says, the blood of Jesus speaks better things than that of Abel. What is he trying to say? All that he's saying is, because blood speaks, when Abel was killed, his blood started speaking vengeance. The blood called upon God and said, God, take vengeance on my brother. Because he has killed me whilst I've done nothing to him. But the Bible says the blood of Jesus doesn't speak that way. As for the blood of Jesus, whilst the blood of Abel is speaking and calling for vengeance. The blood of Jesus speaks for remission and for forgiveness of sins. And forgiveness of sins also calls for protection for individual lives. That is why the Bible says the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ speaks better things. Better things than that of Abel. So as long as you run to Jesus, the blood of Jesus will speak forgiveness, will speak remission of sins, will speak deliverance, will speak healing. So today, it's my prayer that as you run to the blood and you begin to activate the blood, may the blood of Jesus Christ speak for you. If you believe it, say amen. If you believe it, say amen. It must be noted anyway that every word of promise from God has power. There is an inherent power in the word. Every promise of God concerning your life, concerning your healing, your prosperity, your deliverance, everything that you need, there is the, there's power in that word of promise. But this word of promise must be activated. The pro word of promise can be there. But if you don't activate it, you will not be able to enjoy the benefits and the good things in the word of promise. How do I activate that word of promise? Even the word of power that is in the blood of Jesus. 
How can I activate it? I do that by faith. I act by faith. May I declare unto you somebody in these times and these seasons that we find ourselves in. Why there is so much noise and so fear, so much fear and panic. As for us, we run to Jesus. We run to his blood by faith and activate that, that the power in it. And when we do it, then everything that we need with regard to that promise will come to pass. If you believe it, say amen. Now let's go to the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, 4, 5, and 6. Let's see what the, the Lord has for us. Glory to God. He says, by faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. This is the man that offered unto God. And by his offerings and sacrifices, he had witness before God. He had a testimony before God. And because of that, even whilst he was dead, he was still speaking. Because of that faith that he exhibited when he was making the sacrifice. I pray for you in these times. May you walk by faith and not by sight. So that by your faith, you have witness before God. You have a testimony before God. Now go to verse 5. The Bible says, by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. Hey, may faith lift you beyond every curse. May faith lift you beyond every disease. Bible says, by faith, Enoch was translated. May you receive a transformation if you are sick wherever you are. May the power of God enter into your body and be healed now by faith in Jesus. Glory to God. And was not found because, that is the word, because God had translated him for before his translation, he had this testimony mm. that he pleased God. May you please God today. So, uh, no matter what is happening to you, no matter the things that are happening around you and around the globe, if only you will activate the word of God, the power of God in his word, by faith, you have a testimony to share. Bible says before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. May you please God by your faith. In the name of Jesus. That is why verse 6 says, but without faith. It's not without any other thing. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. That he is. That he is. If you like, let me say that he did. That he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all things. Are you hearing me? That means anyone that comes to God must believe that he is. 
And that is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So if I want to activate the power that is in the blood of Jesus, then I must do it by faith. It's Jesus that I'm talking about. When he came to this earth, I didn't see him. Ah, I wasn't born by then. And you were not born by then. But Bible says, if only we can have faith in what he did for us. Then whatever he intended to do in our lives, he'll be able to do it. It's my prayer for you. That today, you activate the power in the blood by faith. And we trust in God that as we share within this today and the month to come, you'll be able to know how to activate the, the, the power that is in the blood. Because I believe there is power in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Today I want to zero in on what the blood is able to do. As the blood of Jesus giving us access to God in worship and in prayer. There is so much power in the blood. And one of, it, or one of them is it gives us access into the presence of the almighty God. Many are crying. Many are praying. They don't know what to do. And they don't know even whom to address. But I pray that you'll be able to have access into the presence of the God that made the heavens and the earth. And it's only the blood of Jesus that is able to give us access, access into the presence of the Almighty God. Glory to God. Will you put your hands together for the Lord? Wonderful. I tell you, I tell you, now, let's go to the book of Hebrews. We are still in Hebrews. Hebrew 4, no. Chapter 10, no. verse 20. No, no. Let's see what the Lord has for us. No, no. Say amen. I say, amen. Are you there with me? No, no. Let's start from 19. No, no. He says, Having therefore, brethren, no. boldness to enter, to enter no. into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. We have boldness. We have boldness to enter into the holiest. Yay. By the blood of Jesus. By a new and a living way. Which he had consecrated for us through the veil. That is to say, his flesh. Ah, hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says there was a time nobody could approach the throne of God Almighty. I can assure you there is a God that made the heavens and the earth and he is God of this world. In fact, he owns the world. Everything is in his hands. He is the almighty God. But how can I get to such a God? In the Old Testament, it wasn't easy for people to approach him. Because man sinned even from the early beginning. And God couldn't come closer to them. And they couldn't come close to God. But it was a, a system by which they could go to God by killing uh, animals, uh, bulls and goats. Uh, and by their blood, they were making some sacrifices so that they could approach God. And 
at a point in time, it was written in the scripture that even the high priest was the only one that could enter the holiest of holy, the holy of holy, even once in a year. But not without blood. So that he could stand in make atonement. Oh, hallelujah. Make atonement for the people of Israel. And he could go there once. But the Bible says there came a time. Right before the foundations of the world. The Bible says the Lamb of God was destined to die and shed his blood so that his blood that speak better things than that of Abel can help us find access into the presence of God. That is why in these days of crisis, people are crying and don't know what to do. I came with a good news that no matter what you're doing, no matter what is happening to you, if only you can have access to the holy of holies mm. to the presence of God then you can present your case amen ah, yeah 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 hallelujah amen and that is what bible says having therefore mm. brethren mm. boldness now the blood of Jesus. The power in the blood. As we activate it by saying to ourselves. Father. I come to you. Not in my name. Not in my, my strength. But I come to you. I'm able to come into your presence. Because of the blood of your son. And I come. And I see the father say come. Tell me whatever you need because of the blood of my son. Oh, may you activate the blood. May you activate the blood of Jesus. For it will have, it has given you access into his presence. Stop crying. Stop doubting. Stop being afraid. Go to the maker of heaviness and earth. Go to the almighty God. And cry unto him. And when you do that. Oh the Lord himself will hear you. If you believe it say amen. amen. So the blood of Jesus Christ. Gives us access. 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 Into the presence of the almighty God. If you believe it say amen. If you believe it say amen. That is why. We are admonished that we should come boldly. If you go to the book of Hebrews, today we are dealing with Hebrews because we are dealing with the blood. 14. 14, he says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest. Oh. 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 Also for if the world will understand that we have a great high priest and call upon him and say, Lord, let your blood help us go to your father so that we begin to cry and cry and pour out our heart unto him. The Lord will hear us. Seeing that now we have a great high priest that is passed into the heaven. Jesus, the son of God, let us hold fast our confession mm. or our profession Glory to God. for we have not an high priest mm. which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities mm. but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. Yes, sir. Then 16 says mm. let us mm. tell somebody beside you or tell your, your, your son, tell your, your wife, tell, tell everybody around you and say, let us, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us in time of need. I do believe 
that at this point in time, there is so much need in our lives. The pandemic has put fear in the lives of people. We don't know what is happening to people all over the world. But the Bible says, if we are able to have access into the presence of God, then definitely we will be able to have mercy. These very times that we are in, these very seasons that we are in, what we need is the mercy of God. If you believe it, say amen. I say what we need today is the mercy of God. So if the blood is able to give us access into the presence of the almighty God, then what, we do, what, are, what are we supposed to do? We go to God, ask for mercy. And he say that we might find grace to help us in time of need. It's my prayer in the name of Jesus that activate the blood of Jesus that gives you access into the presence of God Almighty. And as you go, you ask for mercy. As you go, you ask for grace. As you go, you ask for mercy. As you go, you ask for grace. And it's only the blood that will be able to give us access. Activate the blood of Jesus Christ. Activate the blood of Jesus Christ. And make sure that you are able to go into his presence. Even in this country of ours, in Accra, Kumasi, Tema, Kasua, we say we are going to stay in our homes. That means we'll be there. Nobody should go out. Now hear me, if you are a member of top ministries, just be obedient to what the president has, the directives has given to us. Just do it. Don't go around and be uh, showing off and say, ask for me, I'll go out. In fact, if you go out and uh, the security men, they arrest you and they beat you, don't call me. Why? Just be obedient. And you know what? The, 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 the interesting part is that even once you are at home, this is the time that you have access into the presence. Yes, this is the time that you can go into his presence and say, Lord, I need mercy. <laughs> Lord, I need grace. <laughs> and for these two weeks, if you can ask God for mercy and for grace, I tell you something good will come out of it at the end of the two weeks. Yes, and the blood of Jesus gives us access into the presence of God. If only we can go to him by the blood, activating the blood, then we can go for mercy. Then we can go for grace to help us in this trying moment. We will cry unto him as we go through these two weeks in your home wherever you may be if there is lockdown if you are just in your room in your house have access to the to the presence of God and God will help you if you believe it say amen, amen. you know Psalm 62 verse 8 says let us come to God and pour out our heart, our heart to him. There is a time that I call upon everyone that hears the sound of my voice. Let us pour out our hearts. Pour out our heart unto God. This is the very moment that we need to cry unto God. 
There's a time that we need to ask for, for mercy from God. And call upon God for his grace to be sufficient unto us. And like the psalmist says, you pour out your heart. You pour out your heart. I pray for you that you'll be able to pour out your heart unto God. Within this very period, the Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 7, cast, out, cast your care upon him, for he careth for you. It's my prayer that in this moment, in these trying times, as we have access by the blood to the presence of God, Let's activate the blood and say to the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus speak on our behalf. And let's go to the master, the father of all, of all creation by the blood and say, Father, help us. The Bible says, cast out your curse upon him. And when you cast it upon him, he cares whatever we are going through and whatever you are going through whatever that is happening to you if only you can call upon him then the Lord will see us through today I came with the word of the Lord unto you that you need to activate the blood remind the father the father I come to you not in my name, not in my power, but by the blood of your son Jesus. I tell you, when you make mention of the blood of his son, oh, he will just love and say, come, tell me everything. And he will just begin to listen to you. If only today, you will listen to this word and be a doer of the word and make sure you assess the presence of God by the blood. Then your everything, the message and the grace that you need shall be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you today. We give God a praise knowing one thing that is blood, the blood of Jesus that speaketh better things than that of Abel will surely speak for us. All that we are crying unto him and say, Lord, Jesus, let your blood speak for us. It's my prayer that no matter what you, what you are going through, no matter what is happening, if only even in these times of crisis, if you go to the blood and activate the blood of Jesus, this blood will speak on your behalf. If you believe it, say amen. God bless you. We give God the praise, we give God the glory. We honor him and say unto him alone be the glory. Today, as I speak, about activating the blood of Jesus. Maybe you don't know this Jesus. You, but I want to introduce him to you. His blood still speaks. His blood can still speak on your behalf and defend you in every area. So wherever you are, if you don't know Jesus, you want to give your life to Jesus. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say after me, Father, today I come to you. I ask for your mercy. And I trust that you forgive me all my sins. Forgive me. Wash me in the blood of Jesus. I come. Open up my heart. I say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. I promise to live the rest of my life for you. I thank you. I bless you for answered prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, wherever you hear in the sound of our voices, 
All the members of the Church of Top Ministries International. Top Ministries are for money nara. We are crying unto God. We are going to enter into prayer for the next five minutes. As we, are, we now have access into his presence by the blood of his only son Jesus Christ. That we can pray and ask for anything. We ask our resident pastor to lead us in prayer. For the next five minutes that God himself will, ha will help us. He says come and ask for mercy. Some, uh, and we will find grace because of the blood. Hallelujah. Then after that, I'll pray. Oh, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Lawan is not on pie, some Mojan and Casamau, Mojan and Casamau, Mojan and Casamau, and Casamau Busia, and Casamau Juma, and Casamau Sikasemu, and Mrayo Lockdown, Po, Eurade and Casamau, Eurade or Yenuma, and Watia, Central Name, Eurade and Casama, Mojan and Casa, Mojan and Casa. There is power in the blood. Activate the power that is in the blood and begin to speak. The power Jesus. that we is in the blood for your life. Let your yes, you know, and put a bit of wolf here, but when you go on the moon, baby, I will walk over when you go on the moon, the sun to me, I will watch animal, the sun to me, I will watch animal, the sun to me, I will watch animal, Mojan and Casamo, Mojan and Casamo, Mini Tibia, Womo, Yawa, who are here, Rabo and Rabo, I try and hear, Rasha, yes, open to me, boy, and when you call it, boy, or the year suffered the blood, the blood. Yes, <laughs> Quenya P. Oh, Empo, in this season and in these times, uh, let the blood speak for us. Uh, in the spirit of, that we have in Him, uh, let the blood speak for us. Oh, coronavirus, and you, and the Almania, Ebra Ghana, and we are seeing in Ara, Mojan and Casamaya, Mojan and Casamaya, when they see the blood, when they see the blood, when they see the blood, oh, Mojan and Casamaya, Mojan and Casamaya, oh, Oh, Tampani Makosa Madaya in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I want us to pray. Say Bompay. Understand one thing. That the blood of Jesus speaks of better things than that of Eba. It's my prayer. That as we assess the presence of God. By the blood, ah, we will find mercy and we will get grace to help us through it all. Father, yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we come to you oh, God. by the blood of Jesus, your son. As we come by the blood of the Lamb, Lord, yes, Lord. I stand in. For everyone that hears the sound of my voice. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Let the blood of your son Jesus speak for everyone. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If there is anyone that needs your touch Thank you, Lord Jesus. of deliverance. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your touch 
Thank you, Lord. of healing, Thank you, Lord. of your touch, Thank you, Lord. of prosperity. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, let the blood of Jesus, as we activate our faith in the blood, knowing that the blood has power to produce everything good. So, Lord, in Jesus' name, by the blood of Jesus, we call upon thee that you stretch forth your hand, heal the sick, yes, Lord. Let every individual in bondage be set loose in the name of Jesus. Those who are even troubled, they don't know what to do. I pray that you visit them today. Even by the blood of Jesus. And let the blood speak for everyone. In the name of Jesus. These day I speak over your life. That the blood of Jesus who speak on your behalf, even on your family, on your business, on your health. Let the blood of Jesus cover you, cover your family, and speak for you in your everything that you're doing. May the blood speak for you in Jesus' name. Holy Father, I thank you that from this day, your people, who have the faith to activate the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I bless you. Thank you. And I give you praise. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty in name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beloved, the Lord really loves you. This week, let the blood of Jesus speak for you. Activate the blood. Wherever you find yourself, just say the blood of Jesus. Speak over my speak over my family. Speak over my business. Speak over our nation. Because the blood of Jesus has power. And when it begins to speak for you, the Father will activate everything that is within him on your behalf. Because he allowed his only son to die and shed his blood. And the blood is precious. Unto him be the glory. Unto him be the glory. I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you. We, we come to you the same way next week, Sunday, even as you tune in to listen to the word of God. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Yeah, Duma, now what you said, ne, the Baba Unchain Bimu, Unyame, Enchrao, Na Onti, Nenimu, Enchrao, Casa Amen, Casiapa. We are coming to you live from the Praise Sanctuary Top Ministries. Praise Sanctuary Top Ministries, Tesano. The word of the Lord has been spoken to you mightily and powerfully by the Apostle of God, the International Missions Director of Top Ministries International, Apostle Alex Usu Amankwa. We hope you have been blessed by the word. Ye pese be bibiara wo asi futu o de maaye onyame asem a wo de bere ye wo be ye city. Na wo twi ye se wo fie asafo yi ye hie amudie ni nara ye sie sie e wa busua wo no wa busua wo no wa busua mo ka mo fie wan kra kra mo ka mo fie na mo sia e mo brada mo ankasa mo bom mpa ye e fie da mo ankasa mo bom mpa ye na wo twi e na busumi se de se ta ye no no busumi biara na wo twi e di kan Ya chere kom bom paye, e fri wuko da kosi ni fie da, ushe fie no, chere kom na bom paye. Chere kom na bom paye, nya da je, wana wawo, pete miniso, tu awe seo, unu wabu suya, mo mom paye, e mumu. Asafono nsi se ni na e koso, bie ube timi aya nese, ube ye siti, e wu fie, na wabok e wurade mpaye. Ya di eni mu nyami ni na ma wurade, want to do acknowledgement to the leadership of the church, we thank God for the life of the apostle, and the media team for the great work that they are doing. We acknowledge you. We salute you. God bless you. Till we come your way once again next week. Shalom and peace be with you.